to the God that lifted us up. He is worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, mighty God. You alone are worthy, mighty God. We are indebted to you, Lord Jesus. We are indebted to you, mighty God. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you glory, glory. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. You are worthy. You are worthy, Lord. Hallelujah. We give you glory and honor and majesty. We praise you, Lord, in this place tonight. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for your presence. Thank you, Lord, for everything that you do in our lives. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. God bless you, musicians. Praise God. May God bless you. Hallelujah, Jesus. How many of you are thankful to be here tonight? Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. God is thankful for you to be here today. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. There are many places we could be, but we chose to be in our Father's house. Praise God. In the presence of our God. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. And the Lord, each time we come into his presence, he doesn't uh, leave us empty-handed. Praise God. There's always something that he imparts into our lives praise god we don't return empty hand nobody when he comes to the presence of god returns back empty-handed praise god hallelujah Amen. praise the lord jesus you will not return empty-handed praise god we won't return empty-handed praise god amen praise be to the living god amen hallelujah let's open the word of the lord to book of Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 6, praise be to the living God, amen, Ephesians chapter 6, we will read from the 10th verse, amen, finally my brethren be strong in the Lord, the power of his might, put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore take up the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, Having done all to stand, stand therefore, having girded your waist with truth, having put on the breastplates of righteousness, and having showed your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace, above all, taking the shield of faith, with which you may be able to quench and all the fiery darts of the wicked one, and take the helmet of salvation, the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Praise be to the living God. Praise God. We shall pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for this hour, for this time you've given us. We ask you today, Lord, to open our heart to receive, Lord what your spirit has prepared for us in this place today. Lord Jesus, impart into our heart understanding, revelation, instruction. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. May God bless you. You may be seated. Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. In the passages that we just read, praise God, the scriptures tells us to put on the armor of God that we may be able to withstand. Praise God. To stand against the wiles, wiles meaning devices, 
of the devil. Praise God. Because our struggle, our battle, our wrestling is not with flesh and blood. Praise God. Our struggle, our battle is with the demonic powers of this world. Praise God. Amen. That rule this world. Praise God. Hallelujah. And the demonic powers of this world are our enemies because we are a people of God. Hallelujah. Praise be to the living God. Praise the Lord. And so here we are told to put on, first of all, to guard our waist with truth and then put on the breastplate of righteousness and then... Um, to show our feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace and then to take the shield of faith which, with, with which we may be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one and to put on the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of God. Amen? And then in the last verse in verse 18 we are told to pray always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. Praise God. It would have been good to go in each and every one of these things mentioned here and learn, praise God, amen. But because of time, I'm just going to focus on one thing, praise God, today. Hallelujah. What the Lord placed in my heart, praise God. Verse 18, it tells us to pray. Or praying always. Everybody say always. With all prayer and supplication in the spirit. Being watchful. Everybody say watchful. Being watchful to this end. With all perseverance. Everybody say perseverance. Amen. Supplication for all saints. Praise God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Here in this passage, it reveals to us that praying, praise God, always, and being watchful in prayer is essential to be able to withstand the wiles of the devil. Praise God. Remember, all the things that we are reading and we are we are, um, that is being spoken of is in the context of what Paul mentioned in verse 11 put on the whole armor of God the whole everybody say whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil each part or element of the armor of God has a role to withstand the wiles of the devil, praise God. Including prayer, praise God. And here, importantly, when we are taught to pray always, there is a word that is mentioned here that is very, very important for us to realize. And that word is watchful. Everybody say watchful. Amen? Watch means to be alert. Praise God. Amen? In other words, our prayers must be watchful. Praise God. Watchful prayers. Or prayers that are alert. Praise God. Amen? Hallelujah. When you look at in the Bible, in the New Testament especially... Not every instant, but a lot of the times when prayer is mentioned, that word watchful is also mentioned, praise God. For example, in Matthew 26, verse 37, Matthew 26, hallelujah, amen. Matthew 26, verse, verse 37. And he took with him Peter 
and the two sons of Zebedee, and he began to be sorrowful and deeply distressed. Then he said to them, My soul is exceedingly sorrowful, even to death. Stay here and watch with me. Stay here and watch. What does he mean by that? Well, let's continue read, reading. He went a little further and fell on his face and prayed. Hallelujah. Saying, Oh, my father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as you will. In verse 40. Then he came to the disciples and found them sleeping and said to Peter, What? Could you not watch with me one hour? Watch and pray, lest you enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Praise God. Jesus told the disciples who were with him, praise God, to watch with him. Hallelujah. Praise God. And so he went to watch, praise God, or to pray. Hallelujah. And while he was praying, the disciples were sleeping. Praise the Lord. And then Jesus came back and looked at them. And he was a little bit frustrated with them. And he told them, What? Could you not watch with me an hour? Praise God. Hallelujah. Could you not be alert with me in prayer for an hour? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise God. There is more important significance to this than merely Jesus being upset that his disciples were sleeping when he was praying. Amen. Jesus wasn't concerned primarily because they were sleeping physically. Amen. It was because they were sleeping spiritually. Praise God. Hallelujah. They were in slumber spiritually. And as a result, they couldn't be alert with him in prayer. In other words, lack of prayer. Amen. Lack of watchful prayer is a sign of spiritual slumber. Hallelujah. A person who is spiritually asleep will not pray. Praise God. And spiritual slumber is deadly. Praise God. Because it leads to death. Spiritual slumber leads to death. Praise God. That is the reason why in Psalms 33 verse 3, David prays in desperation to God. And he says, consider and hear me, O Lord my God. Enlighten my eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death. Hallelujah. Enlighten my eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death. Praise God. Hallelujah. Spiritual slumber leads to Spiritual death, praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. And the sign of spiritual slumber is lack of prayer, praise God. When we see ourselves or an individual, praise God, his prayer life is dwindling, praise God. Amen. He's not watchful, he's not being watchful in his prayer. That is a sign that he's spiritually dozing off, praise God. And if he is not careful, he will find himself asleep. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Now, in connection to why Paul tells us to pray watchfully, praise God. 
with perseverance, and why this is tied with being able to stand with the wiles of the devil is revealed to us in this passage when Jesus says to the disciples, watch and pray lest you fall into temptation. Praise God. Hallelujah. Jesus foresaw something that was about to come in the life of the disciples. He foresaw the temptation that the devil was going to bring into their lives. Praise God. He saw that the evil day was coming. Praise God. The hour of temptation. The hour of trial. Praise God. Was coming. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. And if they do not. If they are not alert now in their prayers, praise God, amen, what they need to receive to be able to overcome, praise God, that temptation, praise the Lord, they won't receive. Because when Jesus was praying, there was something that was taking place. Amen. The Bible tells us in Luke chapter, hallelujah, in Luke chapter 22, verse 41 to 43, and he was withdrawn from them about a stone's throw, and he knelt down and prayed, saying, Father, if it is your will, take this cup away from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. Verse 43, then an angel appeared to him from heaven, strengthening him. There is an angel sent for that hour to strengthen, praise God, to empower, praise God. To be able to overcome the temptation that was about to come, praise God. If the disciples were watching with the Lord Jesus in prayer, hallelujah, praise God. The angel of the Lord would have strengthened them, praise God. Would have empowered them, praise God. They would have received what they need to receive to be able to overcome the temptation that was about to befall them, praise God. But when the angel was there, they were asleep. You know, we need to be careful to pay attention to the voice of the Spirit of God that comes into our lives now and then telling us, don't sleep, pray, 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 praise God. Because there's something that the Spirit sees, praise God. Hallelujah. That is coming ahead of us, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And God has sent his angel to give us what we need. Praise God. If it is wisdom we need, he will give that angel has been sent to give us wisdom, understanding. Praise God. Or if it is the strength that we need, that angel has been sent to strengthen us. Praise God. Hallelujah. But all that will be given to us in prayer. Hallelujah. But if we are sleeping, praise God. The angel is there, but we're not there. Praise God. So we don't receive what we need to overcome that temptation. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And no temptation in our lives can be overcome by our might or by our strength. Because if we, truthfully speaking, the enemy's power is stronger than our power. If you ex exclude the power of God, the might of God, the wisdom of God, the understanding of God, the knowledge of God, praise God, and purely compare our strength, our wisdom, our knowledge, our understanding to the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of, of the devil, praise God, he outpowers us, outmaneuvers us, outwits us, praise God. Look at the whole world. No wisdom of this world has, has been able to overcome, praise God, the cunningness and deceitfulness of the devil. Correct? Hallelujah. It is only through the power. That's why the Bible tells us, praise God. Amen. Praise the Lord. We overcome the world because greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Not us. He that is in us, praise God. He's greater. If we take him out of the equation, praise God, he that is in the world is greater than us. So saying to Jesus, Jesus, I won't deny you. Even to death, I will go with you, like Peter said, and all the disciples with him. Won't help. Won't be sufficient, praise God, when the time comes. Hallelujah. And when the time came, praise the Lord, all of them fell into that temptation. 
They betrayed him. They denied him. Praise God. They fled from him. Hallelujah. Why did they not receive the strength of that angel? Praise God. In that prayer, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. You know, we don't pray. You know, sometimes we think that when temptation comes, I will pray. I, my fervence, my prayer will, will be on fire then. Praise That will be too late. Praise God. Amen. That is why the Bible tells us to put on the whole armor of God before that day. Amen. To be alert in prayer before that day. Praise God. So when the day comes, praise God, hallelujah, we will be victorious. That is why a person, a, a, pray, a praying person, always praying person, person who is praying faithfully to God, praise God, amen, will always be victorious. Always be victorious. This is the reason that the scripture over and over again in the New Testament, for example, in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, Tells us the will of God for us is to pray without ceasing. Praise God. And Colossians chapter 4 verse 2. Tells us to be continually pray. Praise God. Amen. And be vigilant in it. Praise God. Praying is not just merely communing with God. And, and, and making our request known to God. Praise God. That is just a small aspect of the need for prayer. Praise God. Praying, praise God, is, praise God, amen, essential to be able to withstand the wiles, the devices, the traps, temptation of the devil. To be overcomers of the evil one, praise God, in this world, praise the Lord Jesus. And that is why the devil, praise God, hates praying people. Is afraid of people who always pray. Praise God. Because they are always spiritually alert. Praise God. Hallelujah. And whatever plans and devices they, he may come up, up with. Praise God. Is always going to fail. Praise God. Because they are, do, they, they, they are always ready to receive from God what they need to overcome all those things. Praise be to the living God. Praise be. Let us be watchful in. Let us be watchful in. If we want to overcome the temptation of this world, the temptation that is, that is taking over the world, praise God. Hallelujah. People are living as slaves today to many things, aren't they? They are enslaved, praise God. Not because they want to, but because they cannot overcome those things to which they are enslaved by. Hallelujah. But if we are a praying people, we will be living this life as conquerors. As victorious, praise God. As a powerful people, praise God. Hallelujah. 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 That is the reason why the devil by any means necessary will try to keep us from praying. Either by discouragement or by destruction, praise God. Or by putting upon us unnecessary weight and burden, praise God, in our lives. That we don't have time to come before the presence of God each day and pray. Hallelujah. Praise God. Waiting for the hour of our slumber. So we can sleep. And then take action against us. Because as long as we are praying, he is powerless. As long as we are spiritually alert in prayer, he is powerless. Praise be to the living God. Hallelujah. 
Furthermore, praise God. Let us go to the book of Luke chapter 12 verse 37. There's something else we're going to learn here as well. Luke chapter 12 verse 37. Amen. Everybody say amen. You're receiving the word of God. Hallelujah. Praise be to the Lord. Amen. Let's read verse 37. Blessed are those servants whom the master when he comes will find watching. Assuredly I say to you that he will gird, them, gird himself and have them sit down to eat and will come and serve them. And if he should come in the second watch or come in the third watch and find them so, blessed are those servants. But know this, that if the master of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and not allowed his house to be broken into. Hallelujah. I want to focus on verse 39. But know this, that if the master of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and not allowed his house to be broken into, praise God. Hallelujah. Here we read many times and awfully, often rightly so when Jesus here spoke, speaks about and commands his servants to watch. Praise God. We think of the second coming of the Lord. Amen. But it's something else also that is mentioned here. That the Lord uh, emphasizes. He says that if the master of the house. Had known what hour the thief would come. He would have watched. And not allowed his house to be broken into. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Not only are we to be watchful in expectation of the Lord return, but also we have to be watchful because there is a thief lurking around to steal what is within us. Hallelujah. Each and every one of us are a house of God. How many of you believe that? You are the temple of the, you are the house of the living God. Praise God. You are the dwelling place of the spirit of God. The Holy Spirit dwells in you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now, you know, in this passage, praise God, when Jesus used this analogy, it resonates with the people at that time for a reason. Every wealth that a person had, amen, or accumulated, he would keep it in his house. Praise God. In that time, there's no bank. Praise God. The safest place to keep your wealth, your money, your valuables was your house. Amen? For us, we don't keep our valuables or our money in our house. It's in the bank account, isn't it? Why? Because we believe it's safer. In that time, if a person has valuable, his income, what he earns, praise God, what he has saved up, his savings, all that is in his house. Amen? And so... A thief was something that the household was quite worried about. Amen? Because he can only take one thief to steal and take away their life saving, praise God. Their possession. And it's over after that. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise God. 
So a lot of effort was made to be, you know, to prevent a thief from coming to steal that possession. Amen. Hallelujah. Especially the greater the value of the possession, the more effort that is made, praise God, to prevent the thief from coming and stealing. Now, when is it, when is it most likely for a thief to come and steal? At night, right? Why at night? Because the people are asleep. Amen? Hallelujah. Amen? They have let their guard down. Therefore, they are vulnerable. And so he can come in in stealth and take and steal it in one day what has taken them years to build up, to accumulate, praise God. There is an important understanding that we need to have, praise God. The treasures, our spiritual treasure, praise God. Amen? Do you know where it is? It's in us. The Bible says that God has placed this treasure in earthen vessels, praise God. Hallelujah. Amen? Praise God. The spiritual things... Hallelujah, that God has implanted and over time is producing all kinds of spiritual treasures, praise God, for ourselves, praise God. Hallelujah. It's in us, praise God. Amen? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. And there is a thief that wants to Steal, kill, and destroy, praise God, the treasure that is in us. Amen? Praise God. Amen? Hallelujah. And this treasure, we didn't gain it overnight. Praise God. Amen? It develops, it grows as we continue to walk with God from day to day, week to week, month to month, praise God, our spiritual treasure within us, the spiritual plant that God has implanted, praise God, that is growing, flourishing within us, praise God, filling us, hallelujah, with God's righteousness, joy, peace, love, praise God, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, praise God, all the spiritual things of God, hallelujah, can be stolen by the thief. Hallelujah. And you know the devil, the first plan of the devil is to prevent that from being established or planted, praise God. Spiritual things from being implanted into our lives, praise God. Amen. And if he cannot do that, if he doesn't you know, if that plan does not work out, his other goal is to wait until the master of the house is asleep. Amen? He lets you accumulate, 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 praise God, in the hopes that one day that you will sleep, slumber, lose your God, and then come in to steal. That is why the Bible tells us the devil is like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. What is he going to devour? What is it about us that he's devouring? Our spiritual life, praise God. The spiritual treasure that is in us, hallelujah. He's seeking, hallelujah. And that therefore the Bible tells us to be sober and vigilant. That means to be alert and vigilant, praise God. Watchful in our prayers, praise God. He wants to devour what we have. He wants to destroy what we have. Hallelujah. And there is an example of this in the, in the Bible in Revelation. Let's go to Revelation. Hallelujah. Praise God. 
Amen. Hallelujah. You know, the Lord, you know, the Bible tells us that the Lord makes us wiser than our enemies. The Lord today is making us wiser than our enemy. Praise God. Amen. We are not, as the Bible says, ignorant of his devices, the devil's devices. Praise God. We are learning. We're becoming wiser. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Revelations 3, verse 1. And to the angel of the church in Sardis write, this thing says he who has the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. I know your works that you have a name, that you are alive, but you are dead. Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die. For I have not found your works perfect before God. Remember therefore how you have received and heard. And hold fast and repent. Therefore if you will not watch. I will come upon you as a thief. And you will not know what hour I will come upon you. Praise God. Here this church. The church in Sardis. The Lord speaks to that church and wrote to the people in that church, praise God. And he says concerning them that you have a name that you are alive but are dead, praise God. And then he tells them there, be watchful and strengthen the things which remain and that are, are ready to die. Praise God. And then he tells them, remember therefore how you have received. Whatever you have received, you have allowed to die. You have allowed for it to be stolen, for it to be destroyed. Praise God. Why? Because you are not watchful. You are sleeping. You are slumbering. And now there's only little that remains. At least strengthen what is remaining. Lest that be lost too. Lest that die too. Praise God. If we are not watchful. Alert in our prayers. What God has bestowed within us. Praise God. Is going to die. Is going to be stolen. Is going to be taken by the enemy. And then at the end we will be an empty house. We will be the house of the Lord on the outside. But inside, praise God. We're not. Every treasure that has been placed within us has been stolen. Has been destroyed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our slumber has led us to death, praise God. This is the reason why we're told to be watchful in prayer with perseverance. Hallelujah. Praise God. We have to realize that we have an enemy. We have an enemy. Praise God. That salivates over what we have. Amen. He salivates over what we have. He wants to take it. He wants to destroy it. Praise God. And the only way he knows that he can do that is if we are asleep. Hallelujah. And he waits. Praise the Lord Jesus. I remember a long time ago. Praise God. Probably three or four years ago. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh... I would be praying a lot. Praise God. Praise the Lord. I would be praying a lot. Praise God for a long time. For a long season. 
And then eventually, praise God, my spirit become to be weary. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <clears throat> I, find it, I found myself becoming a little bit, bit weary in my prayer life. Praise God. But I was still praying. I was still praying. Praise God. And one night I was sleeping. As I was sleeping, I had a dream that I still remember to this day. I see myself fully on armored cloth like a soldier, right? I have my spear, I have my water, and I'm sitting there watching. And then two enemies, I knew instantly that they were enemy soldiers. They are looking at me. They are not advancing at me. They're just sitting down and they're just looking and waiting. And I see myself looking at them. And slowly my eyes become weary. And like a person who is struggling to keep himself awake. Like, praise God. I would be like this and I would, I would open my eyes. I would be like this and I would open. And every time I would doze off. My enemies, they are ready. And every time I open my eyes, they hold back. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I realized instantly, praise God. Praise the Lord. I woke up and I thank the Lord, praise God. Amen. For his warning, praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. The enemy can do anything. He's powerless as long as we are spiritually awake. Alert in prayer. He can't do anything, praise God. But he's waiting. For our slumber. For us to sleep. And the moment we sleep, he's ready to pounce. That is why the scripture, you know, it's, it's profoundly amazing that it's accurate, it's specific. The devil is like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. That is not just a mere statement. That's a reality, spiritual reality. It's a spiritual reality, brothers and sisters. If God could open our eyes and see what the enemy who surrounds us is doing, is waiting, he's just watching. And the only thing that Jesus can do is what he did to the disciples. Comes, pray. Watch. What? Pray. He goes and comes back again. Pray. Hallelujah. Be watchful. Pray, praise God. Praise God. And if we don't listen, you know what happens when we don't listen? Praise God. And the Lord said to the disciples, okay, then sleep now. Sleep for the hour has come. Praise God. Too late now. Because, behold, the hand of him who betrays me is at hand. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's be watchful in prayer, praise God. Praise the Lord Jesus. And if we are watchful in prayer, we don't have to worry about missing the second coming of the Lord. We don't have to worry about that. Praise God. If, the, if, if we are worrying about the second coming of the Lord, somehow we will miss the rapture. Praise God, it's because we are not already watching. Because those to whom, hallelujah, the day will come as a thief are those who are already sleeping. Amen? In 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 4 to 8, it tells us, but you, brethren, are not in darkness so that this day should overtake you as a thief. 
you are all sons of light and sons of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as others do, but let us watch and be sober. Praise God. As long as we are watching and sober, we are not sleeping, praise God, that day will not come upon us as a thief in the night. Hallelujah. We won't be surprised when the Lord comes. We won't be shocked when the Lord comes. Praise God. We'll say, we've been waiting for you, praise God. Here we are, hallelujah. Praise God. For those who sleep, sleep at the night, at night. And those who get drunk are drunk at the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplates of faith and love and as a helmet and a hope of salvation. Hallelujah, Jesus. Praise be to the living God. Brothers and sisters, let's be watchful. Amen. Praise God. Let's be watchful in prayer. Praise God. Lest we find ourselves sleeping. And when we sleep, praise God, we fall into the temptation of the devil. And we allow ourselves to be emptied of every treasure that God has placed within us. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. This message is a reminder. It's a warning. Praise God. Hallelujah. But I want to finish off with saying this. Praise God. If we find ourselves having slept and allowed the enemy to take possession to steal what we have received from the Lord, praise God. There's still hope, amazingly. There's still, as long as we get up and pray and be watchful again, praise God. Hallelujah. The Lord will equip us with whatever we need to pursue and regain, repossess what has been stolen from us. Amen? And we see this in the life of David. When David chose to go to the land of the Philistines and he was dwelling in Ziklag, there was no prayer. There was not an instance where David prayed. He was praying while he was in Israel. He was praying while he was in wilderness. Praise God. He was play, praying while he was in the desert. But the moment he went into the land of the Philistines, praise God, he stopped praying. Prayer ceased. He was spiritually asleep. Hallelujah. One day when he came back with his men to his village, to his city, praise God, he found him that city have been em has been emptied. Everything that he possessed he had was taken. His wives, his children, his possession was taken by the Amalekites. One day, he had lost everything that he had. And then in that instant, the Bible says he encouraged himself uh, and he asked Abedah the priest, bring me an ephod. Let me seek the Lord. Praise God. Let me pray. Hallelujah. Praise be to the living God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. You know, if we do not wake up when God tells us to wake up or if God doesn't, if we don't listen when God wants us to say, don't sleep, praise God, then our reality, our, our, our realization of what we have lost, praise God, will wake us up. And he came to the Lord, praise God, hallelujah. And the Lord said to him, praise God, go and pursue, praise the Lord. You will recover everything that you have lost, praise the Lord, amen. If we find ourselves having lost and realize what we have lost, and we come again to the presence of the Lord in prayer, hallelujah, Jesus, will we hear the voice telling us, go and pursue, praise God, hallelujah. I will deliver everything that you have lost into your hand, praise God. Praise the Lord Jesus.
The Bible says a thief in the Old Testament Deuteronomy laws, a thief, when he's found, he will restore double what he has stolen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise be to the living God. Praise God. So there is hope, praise the Lord. But it's better not to allow those things to be stolen, praise God. Than to suffer through loss, praise God. And then the heartache of seeking and pursuing the enemy until you gain all that you have lost, praise God. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, let's be watchful in our prayers, praise God. Let's be watchful in our Shall we pray? Let us take this time to pray. Praise God. Let us ask the Lord to strengthen us. Hallelujah. To strengthen. Let's strengthen our prayer life today. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. We have to realize that we have an enemy. Hallelujah. That is surrounding us. That is seeking to devour Lord Jesus. Lord mighty God. Lord Jesus. You have told us from your word Lord. You have spoken to your people. To be Lord Jesus. Watchful in our prayers. Lord help us today Lord Jesus. Mighty God, if we have been, mighty God, hallelujah, slowly, 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 slowly slumbering, Lord Jesus, into, into finding ourselves into slumber, going into slumber, going to sleep, Lord Jesus. Lord, mighty God, we wake ourselves up today in the name of Jesus. We wake ourselves up today in the name of Jesus, Lord Jesus, hallelujah. We will become alert in prayer today, Lord Jesus, hallelujah. Lord, mighty God, Lord Jesus, we will persevere, Lord Jesus, hallelujah. In prayer, praise God. Being alert, Lord Jesus. Being watchful, Lord Jesus, mighty God. In the name of Jesus. 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 Lord, strengthen, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Our hands and our feet, Lord Jesus, mighty God. That we may not cease, Lord Jesus, from praying, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. That we may continue earnestly in prayer, Lord Jesus. Being vigilant in it with thanksgiving, Lord Jesus, mighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have said that your people should all always pray, Lord Jesus, that it is your will that we pray without ceasing, Lord.